Mitch, you knew the importance of tonight and how big a game that was, and uh, to come through it with five points against the team that were third is a huge result. Yeah, yeah, Rob made a lot of importance, as you said, to start the game well, and I thought we did that in the first half. You know, a bit annoyed by that defensive effort in the last 20, which, you know, if we take that into the next two weeks, I don't think we'll go too well. So, a lot to improve on that way, but, uh, you know, in terms of that start, that's what we want to do for the next two weeks. Is it a sign of the times that you guys are now beating yourself up five point wins and uh, with, with, with things that happen, you know, at the end there? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, we, we have standards that we try to achieve each week, and, you know, that last 20 minutes isn't within those standards we set on upon ourselves. So, uh, yeah. But I guess it gives us something to work on for the next next week and a half, next two weeks, kind of thing, to take over the Leicester and uh, Leinster, sorry, and you know, you can't improve, what can you do? For an hour though, that was some of the best rugby we've seen in the, here, probably. Yeah, definitely, especially that first 40 minutes, I think that was exactly how we got to start the next two games, um, you know, with that intent and that, uh, that drive to push ourselves forward up the field and, you know, score some really good tries, you know, one under the post, I think. I think it was our second one was something of high quality, I think. Obviously, a try for you around. Right, I'm pretty sure that was the last <laughs> time I was talking about that. Uh, yeah, no, I hope with that first one of the year, I don't think I'll score another one, so I'll take it. You, you talk about the next few weeks, and you know Leinster is going to be a formidable challenge in itself. Uh. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, European Cup's always a step, a step forward, a step up, kind of thing. Um, you know, if you don't take the right mindset and the right attack into the game, uh, you know, you'll come out the wrong end. So, it's going to be tough, you know, especially if we're going to defend like that, you know, in there. So. Team's got a lot of quality in it, so let's take forward. Mitch, you've been here a while now, and you knew the pain of that last game at Bath here 13 months ago. Was that something that drove you guys a bit today as well? Uh, yeah, more so. I think every Bath game we've ever played has always been a tight one. Whether we lose or win, it's always been within seven points either way. So, you know, it's something that we have to do better as a squad. And I thought that was that first half is exactly what Rob wanted. He wanted us to go out there and take hold of the game and actually blow them off the field and say, you know, especially you're at Sandy Park, we're gonna we're gonna beat you here. Um, beat you convincingly, but yeah, couldn't hold on to it for the whole game, which is probably a bit disappointing because usually our last 20 minutes is our strongest. So Reflect on the last three weeks, though. It's been a huge block for you in terms of the Premiership. You're now sitting top of the pile. Yeah. You have to be shot at. That's, that's, our, that's our goal for the year. You know, We want to be top of the pile week in, week out. We don't want to go in and step back down and go in and step back down. So you know, those last three games against three quality oppositions um, over a tough uh, you know, international window as well. It's exactly where we want to be, up top, You know, going into these next two games. But, uh, you know, a lot to work on, a lot to improve on, but you know, it's kind of good for us. It gives us this driver, takes us into the next week, and then after those two European games, another block of Premiership, which uh, we can fire into. Tanks talked about enjoyment. Everyone seems to be playing with a real smile on their face at the moment in rugby. Yeah, we are, and I think that's probably because we've got a lot of a lot of depth in the squad, which you know pushes us along. You can't really rest on your rest on your miles and you know, take it easy here. You know, every player wants to be playing, and as I said, there's a lot of competition. So if you have a bad week easy to be interchanged out and then you've got to push yourself again to, to play well again so you know I think that's that's why the enjoyment is there because everyone's pushing each other you know no one's sitting back and letting other people do work everyone's working for working hard for the team and you know when they're working hard for the team we're getting results that's when the enjoyment comes and as you said great run in the premiership but equally in, in Europe you've started really well you want to carry that on now these next yeah definitely weeks. I think you know and the way it started over the first two games it is us between us and Leinster um, yeah, so the next two weeks are going to be pivotal in our, in our European season. You know, if we go there and we bang a win at home, it gives us the best opportunity over there to, to take some points and, and to really push on in the competition. You know, but it's the same thing if we don't turn up here next week and, and have a really good game and take some points out of the game. You know, we can say goodbye to Europe, which is not what we want as a team. Finally, Pack House today close to next week, New Year's Eve will be packed out. How much is this home factor a key to you? Well, it's huge. I think, you know, we're undefeated for over a year now here at Sandy Park. Sandy Park's, you know, a lot of teams say you've got to win at home and then take those wins on the road, but, you know, our, our home form is, is massive for us and, you know, we, we know we have that solid base at home where we're going to pick up those wins and we're pushing on now to where we're saying, no, on the road we want to pick up those wins as well. But in terms of a home ground, you can't get much better with that much noise, you know, packed out most weeks and it's just a fun place to come out and play. That's why we play our best rugby here. Thank you.